Test. The polar ice caps are melting at a rate of 13% a decade. I speak to nature photographer James Baylog about how he captures and documents climate change. The funny thing about the human mind is that for many things, our memories aren't very good. And so in a picture like Mendenhall Glacier, you, we start the time lapse in 2007, where the glacier is just standing there right in front of the camera. And by 10 years later, it's shrunken way in the distance. But already, 30 seconds after I started the time lapse, your brain can't remember what was there. So I put that red line around the old position of the glacier to refresh your memory, to, to say, oh yeah, you remember what that little, that little glass eye actually recorded for us? This is what it, this is what was. And now we're at this current picture to show what is. And um, it's, you know, no self-respecting photographer <laughs> <laughs> should put lines or little illustrations over his picture, but sometimes we have to do that in order to fully convey the meaning and the scale of what's going on in these places. So, so I do it because I think ultimately the intention is to, to convey a sense of shock and awe about what's going on.